So obviously what the Eastern, Eastern ones say, that clarity must come from within, from your meditation. Obviously with these inverted ones running the media, it ain't going to come from outside of you. As I said before in my rap that one time, my acquaintance, my homie Kelly, a, a, with a butch lesbian with a haircut, uh, a butch haircut with a friend around her girlfriend says to me, a very good natured woman who works at a cannabis dispensary or did said to me, take care of yourself, Trey. And I said, yes, take care of the self. And so slaves always say, tell me, take care of yourself. Why do I say slaves? I mean wage slaves, the modern normie black cube tech victim. Because this is the mantra that the dark ones have given you. Take care of yourself. And if you live in this part of the world, then you'll never have time to think about anything I mentioned on this channel. If you take care of yourself and you're not uber wealthy, disabled, elderly, take care of yourself. And just this 3D body is you. This is all you are. No. The shadow work about entering into the fifth dimension is where you realize you are more than just a 3D body. You are, have a spirit in many different layers of awareness. And so, um, what I was saying a moment ago on the last one about perfection, I consider Nyla Nguyen to be a great example of why you were wrong about saying uh, that a person has to have completed their shadow work to be a teacher. Nyla Nguyen's channel from 3D to 5D consciousness was taken off YouTube because she would, you know, did a lot of reporting on these certain subjects, the certain matters they don't want us to mention here, which I won't mention. And she had a lot of followers. So I watch her show on Odyssey now and uh, sometimes and uh, most of the time. She's not perfect. Um, her spiritual teacher really kind of reeks of, uh, he smells like a, a fake to me. Um, she has him on there from time to time. And it's a little bit, uh, I, I feel that he has her mesmerized. And, um, you know, she believed that Mr. T was going to save the day. And uh, what is it, the 17th letter of the alphabet? I'm not even going to say. Well, she was supportive of the Q. I can say it because I'm not supportive of any uh, nefarious psyops. So, however, she does great research. She does really funny stories. She brings about news that no other researchers bring from other continents, other countries that are positive about freedom, about people reclaiming their rights, protests, things happening that are signs of the dark cabal being taken down. Okay? Yes, yeah, some parts of her ideology are slightly idiotic from my perspective. Like, she thinks yoga is satanic. But... That's not going to prevent me from thinking she has a great show. She deserves to make a living doing this. She's a great researcher. Because she is. She is a great researcher, man. Okay? So take Nyla as an example. Okay? It's much better to have her show than to, like, for me to not watch it when I think she's, she's acting like a dumbass or go to the next segment. Then argue with her, comment on her, tell her she's wrong, be a, act like a troll or complain or never watch her show or think she's inaccurate. Look, this is what we all have to learn. Now, if, if you don't resonate, again, if you don't resonate with me, don't worry, don't watch it. 
If you resonate with me, again, what Lisa Renee says, take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so... Is, is, is Patch Adams' line, is that real? Or do we have to wait until... We're perfect enlightened masters to help others. Another question I have, and another thing this channel is about, spontaneous questions. Question it all. Okay, Rob Bresney came with this idea one time that he heard the ancients said, of some sort, said that, we came here to bless. It's an ancient shamanic idea. We came here to bless. I love it. We're here on this earth to bless. This sounds to me like, okay, remember this idea. Could this be accurate? The ancient Christos founder races from Lyra, Lyra, Andromeda, the ancient Christos races their goal of us coming to this planet, in a, to put it in a simplified statement, would be to spiritualize matter. These fleshy suits made in the image of the original Christos are material three-dimensional objects that can speak, that can create, make music, so that we can spiritualize like a bird who can make up their own song. We bring music to spiritualize this planet. But the draconian, the dark ones, the dark races, they seek through the transhuman mu movement of the last several years. What we're going to see in 2023 20, is the extreme intensification of their open intention to materialize spirit to take your soul to take your spirit and make it only a 3d object a 3d programmable hologram that the deceiver can remote control but through the awareness of the Christ whether you took this experiment or not you can learn to take back that control of your spirit and one of the main ways is learning to live harmlessly this is the first time in a very, very, very long amount of time that we've had the chance since we've had the introduction of all this advanced tech to be harmless with it. Insight, seeing, seer. These were words that were used in the old days, to connotate wisdom, learning, spiritualist, the shaman, mystic, psychics. Why do they call them seers? Because the shadow work connotates this idea conceptually that you must shine the light, not the Illuminati, not the light of Lucifer, the deceiver, which is just using, say, YouTube to look at sexy videos or things that made you angry, that is the deceiver. The light of Christ can be used through any gadget or body to bring awareness. Again, Using their tools against them is an essential part of this battle. I agree with Mark Passio, but I'm not professional or I'm not, I'm still too lazy to make the, the pages to, uh, to get my, all my followers. Maybe I'll do it on this one or the next one. 
I suffer from this fixed sign zodiac tendencies to get stuck in a habit, a pattern. And this is why or how I've stalled. I've seemed to take a longer time. Again, with this contract, I could go for three lifetimes and study a lot and learn a lot and then not learn very much by not practicing. This is why the aboriginals had, had they have walkabout, what's called a walkabout. The Native Americans had what's called a vision quest, somewhat like when the average man turned 15 years old, they'd give him a, a satchel of peyote buttons and a blanket and a jug of water and make him go off for three days. No matter how old you are, if you want to heal your shadow and you never change your habits, for example, with cannabis, if you never take a tolerance break, it starts to do nothing with any habits. Once your habits start to do nothing, it could be the most healing thing, but it's doing nothing. Once you take your wonderful diet, your wonderful meditation for granted, it starts to be less effective. Once I've drinking down eggs for seven years, then the sulfur doesn't do as much. And what do I get? The New World Order there. Working on destroying the supply of eggs. The new, after burning down or destroying 11 food factories in the USA, now there's some virus and they're going to destroy the egg supply because eggs are a cheap supply of healthy protein and amino acids. Isn't that clever? Oh, thanks, KS. You're so smart. So, um, the one thing about the devil that's really helpful in all this is, say, the scamdemic, the lockdown, when they whip your ass by forcing you to change or forcing you to leave your comfort zone, Again, you can use the devil to transcend the devil by using your fear or your uncomfortable feelings to leave your comfort zone, go to something else. And again, you are absolutely accurate, my friend, and that my expansion of my teaching is imperative on this. If I don't do this, I'll keep a small audience. It's true. This came to me this morning. The one thing Lucifer and Satan and the Black Sun and the Belial Sons will never have. Morality and self-respect when it comes to harmlessness. They cannot be harmless. They cannot have morality. So, since this is the second coming, they're getting kicked out of power, kicked off planet again. So kiss it goodbye. If you obey these immoral cretins, these creatures, whatever they are, learn to raise your frequency, learn the self-respect, and do the shadow work so that they don't control your subconscious mind. You are absolutely right, my friend. It's, this is just the most important thing. Okay? He told you told me anything that I'm attached to. Yes, and ganja can bring about a great amount of awareness, but it can be the greatest placebo. It can kill your cancer. It can make you feel that you don't have any mental or physical problems for a few hours. Kill all your diseases for three hours, and then. It temporarily did the shadow work for you, but nothing can do the shadow work for you in the long term. You have to do that work yourself. You have to face those obstacles in your shadow, your subconscious mind. So enjoy, subscribe, and tell your friends if you like this, and bring about oneness everywhere, and smile.